Hi everyone, welcome back. I've had an idea. It's been raining loads here recently and we've had so many rainbows. Um, and obviously my name is Rainbow, Rainbow Acrylics. So um, I want to do a rainbow, a bright colourful rainbow, but I want to try swiping it um, with some cell activator. I've not done it before. I'm in the process of doing something similar with another piece, but I want it to actually look like a rainbow. Um, so I've uh, selected a range of colours um, so I'm excited, let's get started. My canvas is 29 by 42 centimetres. I've just sketched on a rainbow and I've written the, the colours on, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, just to give me a rough idea. I want to have at least two colours in each band, just to give some contrast. Um, and then I'm going to swipe, um, not just one band at a time, but it's going to overlap a bit and that will just help the colours to, to blend, I think. Um, the only thing I have not thought about yet is the base colour. What shall I do? Right, I've just found a little pot of white. Shall I use that? Actually, no, this is a different consistency. All of these paints have been mixed with Flood Floatrol, but without the water. So they are two parts Floatrol, one part paint. So this is too thin. So I'm just going to mix some white base colour. Decided against white, I'm going for silver. So I'm going to have a silver at the top and then silver in the middle here. I think I'll probably put that on afterwards. Um, I'm going to start, where shall I start? No, let's start on the outside. So I'm just going to do quite a nice thin band of paint on the outermost part of the rainbow. I'm going to try and keep within these lines. It doesn't particularly matter if I go out because it's not going to be perfect. So this red is Carmine by um, Amsterdam. And then I've got Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Red Blue. Is it Red Violet? The Iridescent Pinky Red colour. So now I'm going to move on to orange. So for the orange, um, I'm just going to I'm going to do the orange, but I'm going to have a hint of the red in it. There's just a few little bare patches of canvas. So I'm just going to dab those just so all my canvas is covered. And then I'm going to put some of the silver on.
Right, swiping time. The moment of truth. Will this work? Um, I've put my cell activator on the side here. I've got a little piece of plastic. It's like a bit of film and it's what you use to laminate paper. Um, it's just the, the one side of it. So I've cut it into a little strip. I'm just going to dip the strip into the cell activator so there's a nice reasonably thick layer on, on the bottom there. So I'm going to start from somewhere in the centre and follow the line. Um, I'm not going to start from one end because by the time I swipe all the way round, the cells will be lost. So let's just start. So I'm going to put it on so it touches the paint and then just very slowly swipe round. And then repeat that lots and lots of times. So I lost some cell activator there. So I'm going to just start where it seems to run out. So it's, it's kind of like a, a patchwork swipe on a rainbow. Patchwork rainbow. So I think this has worked. I'm not loving it at the moment. So I think what will happen, I, th I think it will dry well. I think it should dry, it should look fine, but I think I'll end up embellishing it a little bit. So drawing, a, a, I, I don't really know what. Um, if you look up really close, um, the lacing and the cells are, are absolutely beautiful. The yellow has got totally swallowed up by the orange. It doesn't really matter. There's a hint of it there. Um, doesn't doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, so is the blue. The blue has got swallowed up by the turquoise. But then that purple looks quite blue. So actually, this is th these colours are a bit different. Oh, there's only six bands. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have lost a whole band. I think it was where the yellow was. How interesting. You start out with seven, you end up with six. Um. So yeah, I think I think I'm happy, um, but I think I will wait and see what it's like when it's dry, and maybe change it in some way because I just I just not sure it has enough about it at the moment. So I'll be back when it's dry. 
So it's now dry. Um, I'm really, really surprised. I'm sure you're really surprised too. Um, I haven't really done any embellishing on it. Um, I was sure I was going to do some embellishment or do something to change it. Um, but I actually quite liked it as it is, um, with the exception of just straightening up that edge, that outside line, and also just sharpening up this inside line. Um, I think it is a little bit plain, but I think it's it's a rainbow, so actually that doesn't need lots of extra detail. But the if you look really closely, there is such beautiful, beautiful cells and beautiful lacing. So I am really happy with it. Um, I was at one point, I even got my glitter out. I was thinking of putting some glitter on or doing something else. But I actually just thought, no, just leave it because it's quite simple, but I think actually quite effective. So the lacing is just so pretty. I think if I did it again, I would do it differently. I would think I would prefer have more multicolours in each band. But that's not what, actually what a rainbow is. So a rainbow is is like this. Um, so I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised. I'm really happy. I'm happier now than um, when it was wet. Um, I've added a little bit of extra to the silver here. And I've, I've let it dry in such a way that it looks all kind of mottled, which is what I wanted. I didn't want it to have lots of lines. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, so please let me know what you think. If you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button, the likes button, the like button, um, and do leave me any comments you want to. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.